a plea for more money for public schools. Good evening. I'm Madeline Overturf. And I'm Mallory Metzner. Welcome to our News at 5. We begin tonight with a big taxpayer vote along the coast. If you've been driving on Route 1 lately, you may have seen this billboard. The Cape Henlopen School District been advertising where people can vote for or against the proposed school tax increase. The district says it needs help making more money since enrollment is going up. Live in Lewis is Coast TV News reporter Alisa Weber. Alisa, you spoke with taxpayers today who have mixed feelings about the increase. Maddie, we are less than one week away from this vote, and people I spoke with say they've been thinking a lot about where they stand. The district says it needs more money for property for new facilities, and one of those buildings looking to get an update is this district building right here. Michael Seitz has lived in the Cape Henlopen School District for about a year. Seitz plans to vote yes in the referendum because he believes helping out schools helps out the entire community. I want it to be a good quality education and, I, you know, I want the quality of life for young people to be such that they don't feel that they have to go somewhere else in order to to uh, do well for themselves. I came from an area where that was the case and that wasn't good. But Seitz wants to know where exactly his taxpayer dollars would go to. The district says it will use the money to buy this property on Cedar Grove Road. They would build a new district office, swimming pool, and handle increasing enrollment. If approved, property owners would pay 55 cents per $100 of property value, which the district says on average is $153 the first year, and then it decreases. Some people say that's too much. No, I wouldn't appreciate that. I'm I'm a senior citizen and I'm on Social Security and so that would not be good, you know. I'm sorry to say this, but I'm very disappointed in our public schools. The district says referendum money would also help renovate the high school and create a bus maintenance facility. Polls are open from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. on Tuesday. Anyone over 18 and lives in the district is able to vote, but only property owners would pay the tax increase if it's approved. In Lewis, I'm Elisa Weber, Coast TV News.